Now we'll see how to install the COSEC standard door controller when it is used as a panel door. You know that Matrix offers various models of standard door controllers. Installation process for all the models is the same. Here we'll carry out the installation process of COSEC door FCS, the standard model with capacitive fingerprint reader. It is a good practice to verify the contents of your package. If any items are damaged or missing, contact your supplier. Next, choose an appropriate location for mounting the door controller considering the suggestion I have given. Then prepare the required opening which can accommodate various cables to be connected to the door controller. Door controllers come with mounting plates. Fix the mounting plate on the opening using the mounting screws at the chosen location. Then pass all the cables from various interfaces like door lock etc through the mounting plate. Before mounting the door controller, let's connect all the cables for networking, power supply, input and output. We will now start with the RF module. The RF module is a pluggable card reader module. We call it card personality module or CPM. CPMs are available in four different options like EM Prox, HID Prox, MyFair Smart and HID iClass Smart. So COSEC products support different contactless card technologies which are widely accepted. You need to insert it at the rear side of the door controller and reader. Place the RF module in the slot provided. Press it gently to ensure that it is properly set. The external reader port supports a single reader with vegan or serial interface. As you know, Matrix offers various options for external readers. Cosec Reader CA with vegan or serial interface, Cosec Reader FO with serial interface, Cosec Reader FC with serial interface. Before we proceed, I will show you a general practice to connect the wires to the terminals on the Cosec door. Strip off about half a centimeter of the installation, depress the lever of the connector, insert the wire and release the lever. It's better that you check the firmness of the connection. If you need to remove the wires, depress the levers and pull out the wires gently. Now let's connect the COSEC external card reader. It comes with a 15 core cable. The reader end has a relimit connector while the other end has a set of color coded conductors. Prepare a suitable opening for exit reader at a suitable location. Use the mounting plate as template. Then pass the cables to connect the reader to the door controller. Let's see how to connect serial as well as vegan type of interfaces. The connection depends on the kind of their interface type. If you want to connect the vegan interface, it can be done this way. In case you want to connect the serial interface, it can be done this way. Observe the difference between both types of interfaces. After the connections, mount the reader on the mounting plate. Then secure it with the screw provided. We will now connect the COSEC external fingerprint reader. Prepare a suitable opening for exit reader at a suitable location. Use the mounting plate as template. Then pass the cables to connect the reader to the door controller. Now let's do the connections to the door controller. It is done this way. Do remember to connect the RX terminal of the reader to the TX terminal of the door controller while the TX terminal of the reader to the RX terminal on the door controller side. After the connections, Mount the reader on the mounting plate, then secure it with the screw provided. Now let's do the remaining connections to the door controller. You can connect different types of door locks with the matrix COSEC door controller, like electromagnetic locks, bolt locks, strike locks, etc. Terminal numbers 21 to 24 are for the relay NO, COM, NC and positive 12 volt DC for the door lock. For using 12 volt DC power supply from the COSEC door, you need to short the positive 12 volt DC and the COM terminals prior to connecting the NC or NO and the 0 volt to the door locking device. Now connect positive end of the door magnet 
to terminal number 23 and negative end to terminal number 21. For locks of higher capacity, use an external 24 watt DC power supply. You can connect three different inputs to the COSEC door controller. You can keep a maximum distance of 600 meters for one line. The terminal pair 31 and 32 is assigned for the request to exit inputs, like exit switch. Similarly, the terminal pair 11 and 12 is designated as door contact inputs for sensing door status. For supervised inputs, you must connect the 4.7 kilo ohm end of line resistors like this. You can connect output from another device like smoke detector or fire alarm system to the auxiliary input port on terminal pair 9 and 10. Use the auxiliary output port to connect the external devices like siren or hooter, etc. Panel door controllers can be interlinked to COSEC panel and to each other by two different means, either through their RS-485 loop-in and loop-out terminals or through the Ethernet port using the TCP IP connectivity. You can also have a mixed network of RS-485 and TCP IP. First, let us do the connections for setting up RS-485 network. Connect the incoming RS-485 cable to the loop-in terminals 3 and 4. Join the outgoing RS-485 conductors to the loop-out terminals 6 and 7. Then set the door controller's address on the network by setting the positions of dip switches 1 to 5. Now let's see how to do the network connections for TCP IP. Connect the door controller to the LAN using the Ethernet cable. Ensure that you have connected the COSEC panel to the same network. We will see the power supply connections now. You can supply power to the COSEC door by three different ways. By the DC power adapter, or from the panel, or from the matrix PSBB, the universal power supply with battery backup. For all the options, the connections of the power to the door controller is same. Connect the positive end of the cable from any of these sources to terminal number one and negative end to the terminal number two. We are done with all the connections. Let's mount the door controller. Set the enclosure against the mounting plate and then gently push it downwards to fix it to the mounting plate. Secure the enclosure firmly to the mounting plate with the screw provided. Let's power up the door controller and observe its power on sequence. These indicator LEDs display various parameters. This flash is green when access is allowed. This flash is red when access is denied. This flash is red in event of alarm. This flash is green when door is connected with the panel. In case if door is not connected with panel and degrade access is enabled, this flash is amber. In case if door is not connected with panel and degrade access is not enabled, then this flash is red. We have concluded the full installation of the COSEC standard panel door controller. I'm sure now you can confidently carry out the complete installation of a standard panel door controller.